Guys, that's right, we are in Times Square for the first ever demo of an autonomous vehicle here in New York City. Step inside as we check it out. With me here is Adrian Sussman, the co-managing director of Coast Autonomous. Adrian, thanks so much for having us on today. Thanks for coming, Joe. So tell us about the vehicle we're in right now and how it's going to change the game of transportation here in New York City. Well, yeah, so welcome aboard. This is a low-speed self-driving shuttle. Uh, and this is designed to operate exactly in these types of environments, sort of you know, pedestrian areas, city centers, uh, campuses, theme parks, airports, just anywhere where it's a low speed environment. The Coast Autonomous Shuttle is an electric car that tops out at 20 miles per hour. While it's not ready for the crowds of Times Square just yet, developers expect the driverless shuttle to be on the road and carrying customers within three years. Rick Baker is the former mayor of St. Petersburg, Florida, and the head of urban deployment for Coast. The whole objective is for this to make it easier for people to get around. And that means you're not going to be waiting as long for a vehicle. You're going to be able to get it on and get off. Look, 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 look. The men are sitting inside and nobody's driving. Watch this, babies. Holy cow. With no steering wheel or pedals, the shuttle operates on a predefined route like a bus. But it can also be called like a regular ride chair using a smartphone app during off-peak hours. The last mile is often the biggest problem, getting from the, the, the metro to the office. Um, and so we, we think there's an enormous market. Right now, sensors on most self-driving cars cost about half a million dollars. But because the Coast Fleet travels at a much slower speed, its system of sensors is about one-tenth the cost. And the company hopes its vehicles will win over skeptical riders who are worried about the safety of automated driving. Sean Keating and his family say they'd be on board to give it a try. Oh, I think that's a great way to start, rather than freeways and parkways and, you know, starting this slower, not as high-speed areas. I trust it more than a cab driver, I think. <laughs> but the true test will come with rush-hour traffic. Reporting from Times Square, Joe Masiri, PIX11 News.